reception. So, uh, <coughs> Mr. Bungle's coming up in just a few minutes. But, uh, <coughs> beforehand, we thought we'd have a little bit of fun here, tell a few jokes, and uh, get things going. You ready to laugh? All right. <coughs> Why did Jesus Christ turn water into wine? Because he's an alcoholic! Thank you. <coughs> and, uh, what's the difference between Jesus Christ and Tom Cruise? Thanks, sir. Well, Tom Cruise actually gets to fuck Nicole Kidman. All Jesus gets to do is jack off onto her tits. Thank you. <coughs> All right, moving right along. Why does Jar Jar Binks smell like shit? Because he's a lousy character. Okay. And why did Darth Vader cross the road? To have sex with a gay fan of the Star Wars series. So we're going to have some fun tonight. <coughs> Thanks for that. How many Backstreet Boys does it take to screw in a light bulb? <coughs> they don't screw in light bulbs, they're too busy screwing their audience. <laughs> yeah. And Julia Roberts. Why did Julia Roberts rub shit on her vagina? Because she was horny! <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> Why did Colonel Sanders cross the road? Because he was told to by the shareholders of KFC. Thanks for that one. <clears throat> And why didn't Santa Claus come down the chimney this year? Because he's impotent! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyway... And then there's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Why didn't we see him delivering presents from the North Pole this year? because he was tried and convicted as a Nazi war criminal. Thanks for that one. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Thanks for that. Hey, come on, I have cancer. <coughs> Why are M&Ms filled with chocolate? Because it would be illegal to fill them with shit. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. So you enjoying the show so far? Enjoying the show? How about you, sir? Are you enjoying the show? Oh, you're not gonna answer. Looks like we've got a zipper lips in the audience, everybody! Hey, it's a zipper lips! Oh, Mr. Zipper Lips! Your wife's got zipper hips, you lousy zipper lips. Zipper, zipper, zipper lips. Ah, you're all just a bunch of zipper pricks. <sighs> anyway. Did you hear the one about the gay footy player? Yeah, they threw him off the team. <sighs> Did you hear the one about the big-breasted Eskimo girl? She burned her bra to keep from freezing to death. Thanks for that. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for that. Why did the cow feel inadequate? Because she found out they were pasteurizing her milk. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay. 
Why did God invent Fleetwood Mac? Because he was high on PCP. Thank you. And why did God invent the internet? No. Because he was too embarrassed to be seen buying his gay porno mags in public. Thank you. So well, anyway, I got a tattoo the other day. Yeah. I wanted a souvenir of my trip to Australia, so I went into this tattoo parlor and I said, uh, give me a tattoo of something that's beloved by the Australian people. So I was expecting a wombat or a kangaroo or Ayers Rock. So imagine my surprise when I looked down at my leg and there was a profile of the Blues Brothers. <laughs> Uh, Jake and Elwood both. Of course I was embarrassed, but that's my life! Uh. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Why is Ricky Martin living La Vida Loca? Because he got the results of his AIDS test and they were negative. Thank you. And why did Blink-182 cross the road? No. Because there were three mirrors on the other side and they wanted to jack off in front of them. Thank you. <coughs> And why did God invent the Red Hot Chili Peppers? To help boost sales of heroin. <clears throat> and why did the Red Hot Chili Peppers wear socks over their cocks? Because they've lost all bladder control. Oh, happens to the best of us, huh? Oh, thanks for that. <coughs> oh, there's a 50 cent coin. Hold on just a minute. What do you get when you cross the red hot chili peppers with an octopus? Junkies with eight arms each to shoot up into. Thank you. <coughs> So you guys ready for some Mr. Bungle? Uh, well, I don't know if you checked the newspaper, but about an hour ago there was a crash. United Airlines flight coming in from San Francisco. And they've all been killed. Uh, well, I got plenty of jokes, so we're going to have a great time tonight. And uh, let's just keep things going, huh? Pull out some of my old routines, maybe, to fill up the space. Time flies when you're having fun. <coughs> anyway, Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers goes into this bar, right? And he goes up to the bartender and he says, uh, <coughs> Got any heroin? And the bartender says, No, this is a bar. We don't have heroin. All we have here is alcoholic drinks. So, <coughs> Anthony Kiedis leaves the bar. So the next day, Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers goes into this bar again. And he goes up to the bartender and he says, uh, <coughs> Got any heroin? And the bartender says, No, no, this is a bar. All we serve is drinks. We don't have any heroin. If you want a pina colada, I can make it for you, but we don't have any heroin. So he leaves. So the next day, Anthony Kiedis goes into this bar. And he, uh, <coughs> He goes up to the bartender and uh, says, you got any heroin? And uh, the bartender says, no, no, I told you before, this is a bar, all we have is alcoholic drinks. So he leaves, goes back to his hotel room in tears. 
So the next day, Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers goes into this bar, right? He comes up to the bartender and says, uh, got any heroin? And the bartender says, no, no, this is a bar. All we have is alcoholic beverages. I can't help you with that. So he leaves. The next day, Anthony Kiedis goes into this bar, right? And he goes up to the bartender and says, uh, <coughs> got any heroin? The bartender says, look, I've told you so many times already, we don't have heroin here. All we have is alcoholic beverages. If you come in here one more time and ask me that, I'm going to nail your mouth shut. So, a couple days later, Anthony Kiedis goes into this bar. <coughs> he goes up to the bartender and says, uh, got any nails? And the bartender says, no. He says, oh, well, in that case, got any heroin? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thanks for that one. What top-selling pop group, this is a boy band, masturbates together every night before going on stage, ejaculating at precisely the same moment onto a small towel provided by their management? In sync. Thanks for that one. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, if you like my act, could you write my name on the toilet? Thank you. Thanks for that one. So, <clears throat> why did Ronald McDonald have sex with his sister? Because his judgment was impaired from all those years of eating junk food. Thank you. Why does McDonald's put the word Mick in front of every item on their menu? To help disguise the fact that the food is of poor quality. Okay. And what did the legendary Billy Martin, manager of the New York Yankees, do on Christmas Day? Thanks for that. He died in a car accident. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, but I'm having fun out here, though. But I had sort of an embarrassing moment the other day. I went into this pharmacist to get some condoms. Yeah, that could be pretty embarrassing. So I went up with my purchase, and the cashier looked at the condoms and said, uh, hmm, would you like a salami with that? <laughs> How about a little whipped cream? <laughs> or maybe a bag of peanuts? <laughs> of course I was humiliated, but that's my for me. they could have hired a gay comedian. Come on. <clears throat> anyway, in just a few minutes, Mr. Bumble will be sitting in there, sitting backstage for another 45 minutes. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, we're going to wrap things up here. Oh, hey, that must have been a $2 coin. Why does Britney Spears sell millions of records? Because the public is horny and depressed. All right, thanks for that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you all want to get ready, what you've been waiting for all night, ladies and gentlemen, 
45 minutes until Mr. Bungle. Thank you.